my name is Guguletu and this is my colleague Skumbuzo. We are from the University of the Witwatersrand with the Wizbang team in the School of Chemistry. So the experiment that we have here today is called Elephant's Toothpaste. In this container we have 30 ml of um, hydrogen peroxide with the chemical formula H2O2 as you can see in this molecule here. Um, in this reaction what we're trying to do is to decompose the um, hydrogen peroxide to form um, the product O2 oxygen as well as H2O water. Okay, so what we have here is 30 ml of hydrogen peroxide, dishwashing soap. Um, since we're dealing with sasol, we're going to give it a blue color using blue food coloring. Okay, so we add our food coloring and we swirl it to make the solution homogeneous. But this reaction here, the decomposition has already started. The reason why we cannot see it is because the reaction is happening at a, a rate that is way too slow. Okay, so in chemistry, we tend to use catalysts. Catalysts are substances that speed up a chemical reaction. So for this reaction, the catalyst that we use is <coughs> potassium iodide. So we add our potassium iodide using a syringe. This is a five milliliter syringe, okay. So we shoot it directly into the center of the container and we wait for the reaction to occur. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that foam? Yes, it's foam. Okay, so upon the decomposition, the steam that you see is nothing other than water. So it's not harmful. The bubbles are the ones that then trap that, um, the, the steam to produce your water molecules. And then what happens if you touch the bottle, you, it feels a little bit hot. This is because this decomposition is actually an exothermic reaction. These are reactions that actually give off heat upon occurrence. So this was the elephant's toothpaste. That's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much to Wits University. <laughs> yes. And hashtag Sassel TechnoX. <laughs> wow.